sweat the technique. Hey, what's up guys? Back with yet another video, and this is going to be another application review for the iPod Touch. So let's get this one started. And I know that I just actually released an application review, but uh, I'm going to start trying to get these app, view, app reviews out sooner, because sometimes when I download an application, example for Scoops, I downloaded it when it was free for a limited time only, but uh, when I released the video, the application had been raised to the price of 99 cents. So I'm going to start trying to get these videos out a little bit quicker, so you guys will be able to get the application for free, the same as I did. Okay, so let's get this one started. First app that I have that is new, it's called Trace. Very fun application. I got it as a free app, and uh, you guys might have seen a couple different uh, games like this before. And the object is, is that you start at one point and you have to draw and or trace a line to a different uh, object at the end. So you have six different worlds. You have one is paint, two is water, three is plant, four is chalk, five is flame, and six is space. So let's just do paint. And in each world you have 20 levels. So six times 20, you got 120 levels in here. So it's a great deal of a. Uh, content for a free download. Definitely recommend it. Let's just do the first one. Really simple. All it is is that you don't even have to draw anything. You just walk. This one's already drawn for you. The object is to get a little red guy into that gold star at the end. So for example, these are just pretty much the training levels. You just draw a line. This little triangle over here is jump. So you jump. And there we go. Now in the gold. But there's objects that fly at you and eventually these actually become pretty tough levels. See right, right here you can't walk through. Just gotta go over. That's not tough though. They get to be pretty tough. The cool thing about this is that if you don't like it, you have an erase tool and you can erase your lines. You can go and just drop. There we go. Alright, whatever. That is Trace from the App Store. It's a free download. Definitely recommend that one because it's got a great deal of content for a free application, so why not? Alrighty, next application Brain Toot Lite. There is a paid version of Brain Toot, but the light one here. The free version has four brain training games. If you enjoy this free version, check out the full version, which includes 16 brain training games. So here you're going to see just a little bit of a demo of it. Uh, we're going to do quick play. Use my profile that I have, and we will do let's do vision and cup and a ball. That's the only game that they have for vision and the light version. We'll do easy just so I can show you. So it's simple. You have the balls in the cup, and there's the ball. We have to follow it. There we go. And you just click where it was. So like, it looks pretty easy, but I mean there's a couple different types of games on here. Let's see if I can get out. I guess I can't get out. Here, we'll restart the app back up, and I'll show you one of the different games that they have. Quick play, back into my profile. So let's do, you can do memory, and uh, memory is color pattern, so it's going to have like a set of like six different colors, and you have to memorize the order that they were in. And then aside from memory, they have compute, which will give you a math problem, and you have to find out what signs would go in with the math problem. And last but not least, you have Think, which is where they have a lot of numbers. This one's really fun. Uh, a bunch of numbers on the screen, and you have to figure out from lowest to highest. Types of numbers in order from lowest to highest. And you touch them in order. Gets pretty tough, though. So, 3, 8, 16, 24, 29, 36, 47, 51. It can get to be pretty tough, uh, especially when you play it on a hard level. That was a medium level. Anyway. That is Brain Toot Lite, and it is a free application download. Definitely recommend that one too. Maybe you guys might want to buy the actual paid version of it, but you guys can find that one for yourselves. Next application, it's called Touch For Free. Now this is very similar to the old app that I had called For Free. Um, it's pretty much the exact same thing actually, I'm not going to lie. But this one is much better. It has the old generic Connect 4 look to it, as you guys just saw, and I'll show you again in a second. But there's so many more options to it. It's also a free application download, but in a free one you get one player, two player, you can play on the internet, so you have to be in Wi-Fi, but you can play anyone around the world. It'll connect you to anyone. I actually played a guy from China yesterday. Pretty fun. But uh, sometimes the internet can be kind of slow on it, depending on where you both are and how your Wi-Fi connection is for both of you guys. But anyway, next you can do networks. You guys can be in uh, close Wi-Fi networks. You can get really good and quick connections, so you can get a quick game going. Then last, you have demos, so you can see how the computers play against each other. So uh, we're just going to do uh, one player so I can play against the computer. You have small, medium, and large for board size. And you have the sound, and then you can change the difficulty of the computer you're playing against, and all that fun stuff. So let's start this one up. The only downside to the light version that I've found actually so far, or the free version, is that in the free version, as you guys just saw a couple seconds ago, there are, um, uh, what are they called? 
advertisements. Why did I just lose that? Anyway, I was talking to myself. Okay, so yeah, I just lost. But anyway, that is a uh, touch for free. I would definitely recommend it. It is a free application, obviously. Next application, or is that all of them? Huh. Might be. Nope. Oh, I got a couple more. Next one. Just download it. This is a free application. It's called I Say Free. And you just simply enter your name. And you can do the speed, slow, medium, fast. We're going to do fast because it's more interesting. And you can do sound effects, xylophone, or animals. We're going to do animals because it's more fun to listen to. Let's play. Alright, so that's uh, I Say Free. It's pretty much the exact same thing as Simon says. You guys have seen it before. That's a free download application. I would recommend it because it's pretty fun to play for a while. And uh, last but not least, Google Earth. This is a free application and it has been a pretty big hit right now uh, on the App Store. This is a free download and it's just like Google Earth as you guys have seen on your computers. It's pretty fun actually just to use. I mean, even if you don't need to use it for anything like important, Let's see. So uh, it's got the compass up here in the corner. You can just do the old-fashioned like zoom in. And, oh, it's going into where my last location was, which shows my house. Move around, and you can spin it. Uh, but all that fun stuff. So anyway, if you want to just find where you are, you just click the. Oh, actually, let's. I'll show you that in a second. But anyway, it's got like cities and whatnot. Here's all the cities and stuff. So example, if you want to touch a city, you can just open it up. And now we're in Worthington. Pretty cool, I think so. And it even shows some of the more important areas around you, like uh, museums maybe, or football stadium, or like downtown. I'll show you that, and you can click it, and it'll actually bring you into a Wikipedia website link and give you a little bit of a description of it, of the area that you just clicked on. But here's an example of that. Let's scroll into this little W. Where did it just go? Dang, I just lost it. Here we go. Okay, so here's that little W I just clicked. We're going to find out. We were just looking at Dayton, Ohio. Dayton is a city in southwestern Ohio, United States. All right, this is just a description, I guess, of Dayton and some attractions that are there. Anyway, uh, cool thing you can do is you can type in a location that you really want to see, or you can just uh, get the heck out of this. Well, instead of typing in location, you can just click down here at this little uh, icon, and it will use your location, and it will take you right to your location. So it's zooming out, taking me across Ohio, and it's going to take me into my home. In the App Store, it is a free download. Uh, for the first time, I don't think I'm going to say I'm going to recommend it. I mean, I enjoy it. It's a fun application, but I don't really see any use for it on the Apple iPod Touch because it already comes with maps and all that stuff. But, I mean, if you want to try it, it's pretty fun to fool around with for a while. I mean, I'm 16 years old, and it's kind of cool to just zoom in on my school or zoom in on, like, the Horseshoe, the uh, football stadium for Ohio State Buckeyes. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. You can download Google Earth if you want to. If you have use for it, definitely recommend it then. If not, you might want to just screw around with it for a little bit. It's kind of fun to do. Anyway, that would be the last application that I've downloaded. And that's all I got for today, guys. Hope you guys have a great day and enjoy this video. Remember to hit me back with your comments and all your messages and whatnot. And I will uh, hopefully get back to you guys soon. Have a good one.